congratulate Julian because he's opening his store at Market Street, right? Yeah. Okay. Where? Uh, 986 Market Street between 7th and 6th. So I'm gonna stay next to the board field. Or like, yeah. Most, yeah, most people know next to the crazy horse. And your, <laughs> your party yeah. is when? It's still on Market oh, Street. Though. Still on Market Street. In Market, um, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. At 7 to 11. Party. Uh, party, yeah, sure. If you want to party. <laughs> what was the second reception? Oh, the reception, the opening. Oh. Yeah, it's a temporary relocation. It's more of a demonstration. I'll kind of tangent to my presentation then. Uh, what it is, it's a demonstration of uh, what a perfect San Francisco would look like. I'm one of those visions. Program with after school kids is, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. I, no, I want to no, yeah, talk, talk about that yeah, because sure. it's a great That's what thing we're here for to talk. Um, okay, hello. <laughs> hello, everybody. My name is Julian Dash. I'm um, here today uh, based on the influence and uh, advisement of my team to extend our marketing outreach and what we like to call propaganda and just to market and connect with people. Um, and also, they saw other incentives um, too. Mine are just to extend the reach of our business. Okay. All right, so segue out was a demonstration. Perfect world, I would like my clothing store to have no clothes inside of it. Um, because you buy an idea, um, it's more psychological as anything is that we consume, right? A brand, record labels when you were young, um, all kinds of analogies come into play, you buy it blindly. Um, so that would be the perfect scenario. So if I didn't even have to pull out my clothes and if I got funding because of the ideals and the things that we propagate, that would be the perfect world situation. The clothing are just the vehicle to communicate our, um, our visions and uh, what we're trying to extend into the world. I started with jeans. Well, I started with graffiti. And I got in trouble with graffiti. Came home <laughs> and it was just like, oh, you know, it's not really making money and, you know, moms and things like that. So I literally had a dream, woke up and something said, uh, buy a sewing machine. I thought it was kind of foolish because the stereotypical things about sewing. Okay, that's cool. Um, once that happened, I found a lot of things about my mom. She was a fashion designer, consultant, did a lot of things. It was almost like I was finishing her path. So I took it on very deep um, at that moment. Biking down the alley, I see a factory getting gutted out. A bunch of sewing machines. I buy them. I'm working with kids back then. I'm working with kids. That's how I got my money. Um, that was just a testament to not really sell my soul to the job and work, you know, all that type of thing. And then so I buy sewing machines. He delivers them, gives me four sewing machines, and brings them to my house. And then I happened to coincidentally live down the street from Apparel City, which is a sewing. Uh, place in San Francisco, so a lot of these coincidental things were happening, you know. Guy came over, plugged him in. I was stubborn at the time, I was like, no internet, no nothing, I'm just going to take apart a pair of jeans and do it. It was cool, they were wearable. Alright, that progressed, friends wanted them. Today, five, six, seven years later, um, I just came from Artpad to Seth, which is at Phoenix yeah. Hotel. Um, they're take every room is a gallery. Uh, my jeans are being um, hung next to some artists that I look up to. What um, I'm doing my best to is extend the reach of what jeans and the perception of clothing is. If I gave you my spiel, Holy Stitch is uh, a business where we seek to break the paradigm of how factories perceive. My key words are we are a cult. Definition, a group of people who believe in something differently and do things differently. That's it. And then I use the words cotton field. Why? so many reasons why we can talk about that ad nauseum. It's a key word, whether if you're a CEO, you're a kid, you're my mom or anything, it got you well, mentally. Intellectualize it, there's the masquerade. I ask kids that I work with, hey, would you eat a cow? No. Would you eat a steak? Yes. Would you wear that plant? No. Would you wear this sweater? Yeah. There's this whole thing that's happening. People want to be connected naturally. We all can talk about marketing and things. They're unveiling the masquerade. I want to have my own cotton field, my own workers that I could call them slaves. They, they wouldn't care because they'd be happily working with me, doing whatever, you know, it's just the terminology, and um, have the full means of production of my clothing and products. Um, from seed to retail is the cliche term that we're coming up with. Um, so yeah, that's 
that's that. What we're doing at Market Street is a demonstration. Half of it's a classroom, half of it's our little denim studio where I hem and repair jeans with Self Edge, which is us. I'm a denim retailer in San Francisco, New York, and LA. And I handle all the back end um, hemming and repairing for them. I teach kids day to day, group from middle school all the way to some are older than me, um, how, to teach, how to listen to their own skills and make that into a business. Because to make a pair of jeans, you can draw, you can ideate, you can design, you can develop, you can source. I mean, there's so many things happening in that step. So I see what they're best at and foster that. Some are getting paid. My first intern's going to Japan in a couple of months. I'm gonna sew in the middle of Tokyo. Um, things like that. And so, yeah, and I'm recruiting kids on the daily and that's what Market Street's gonna be for. And for people to see what we're doing. As far as my aesthetic, I try to make everything look like the universe. Um, why is because my starting point, where I'm starting, where do we all come from? Who knows? Universe. So universe, that's where I'm starting from, and whoever knows where it'll progress, they'll go into that. Um, I also like to theorize about what kind of plant is to each person. I believe our destiny is our sunlight, and I think some people are parasitic plants. Some people are just here to be pretty flowers. Some people are here to be, um, I don't know, there's so many different kinds of plants. I like cotton something, okay. Here's an elephant. Oh, most of my things are sewn by my interns, and the youth that I work with and my seamstress who I met at a factory I used to work at. She didn't have a job, so we connected like a second mom. I didn't stuff this bag because honestly, I was in a rush when I came here, so I'm gonna be surprised as I pull it out, <laughs> okay? I'm wearing my jeans. These are some ones, you know? Yeah. All right, okay. I knew they'd do this. All right, these jeans are bigger jeans for a customer size 34. Yeah, I just make jeans. This is my art. It's not really just the jeans. It's my self-expression. We have three tiers of clothing. Um, the ones that I make with my hands, the ones that my teams make, and the ones that are made uh, locally. You know, I got a relationship with Frida Sky Blue. Uh, yeah, so we make clothes. Some people like them, hip-hop artists. People want to be cool, you know, that kind, of, that kind of people like them. And then local people really seek our services, the kids. We seek to be a staple in the community. I honestly care less if the rapper wears them, but I care because it instills and it inspires others to come towards us. You know, it helps feed the kids. Oh, I do denim jackets. We're doing that. Okay, brought this one. This one I did today. It looks like the universe, the galaxies and stuff. So that's what I do. And then the rest of my team, they handle marketing and all the different dimensions that I'm learning how a business should be handled. I think my time is up unless anyone has questions. Can we, can we open that up? Please? Sure. Because it looked like G Star. Oh, here's, here's a jacket. You know, they put this one in. They like, they like this one, the kids. You know, just sewing machine, just whatever patches, remixing it. People in music videos think they're cool, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to the store on uh, Market Street between 6 and 7. So tomorrow night's your. Tomorrow night at 7, um, 7 to 11. It's in conjunction with Streetopia SF, which is an exhibition, an art exhibition, demonstrating what a perfect SF would look like. A lot of things are happening in mid-market. Twitter on one block, and you got all kinds of deaths of the places on one. So this yeah. is, 10 years ago, this was a legal demonstration that do got booted because they were squatting in mid-market. So this is a legal version of what's happening. Right. Kind of like squatting in a building illegally. Do so, you still have your, your what type of hours? Like, Hours. The, the area? No, no, I know the area. Well, oh, what, what type of hours? Oh, the hours. Like, will it be like 10? You, know, you know, the hours because of the, are being affected because of the area. Until I get my reputation on the block and become a staple on the block, that the hours are honestly going to vary. I'm going to be there early in the morning, and I'm going to be there until about the evening, building relationships until then. That's the honest truth. Yeah. You know, because it's kind of, I can't be there until 10 like I am used to be. Do you still have your ice cream truck sewing machine? Oh yes, I have. Yeah, now I'm gonna bring that. Out. I was gonna almost push that here because I gotta go back <laughs> yeah. to the storefront because I'm. Yeah. yeah, Julian has been uh, with us a while. A lot of you have actually, you know, have known for a long time. We started with I think a couple of hundred members at Nang. Now we're like about 1,500, and we're about 20 over 2,700 on Facebook. So we have about uh, yeah, like 5,000 overall. We have Meetup, Nang. Um, and Facebook and among other things. Um, Skyler, you're up. Right. 
Thank you, you everybody, got, for your thanks. time.